let's set up a new enclosure for my western hog nose. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Zoe, but most people know me as ZA Reptiles. And today we're doing the last of my Reptizoo enclosures. This one right here in the middle, the empty one. So far we've done Rumple, my tricolored hognose, and then uh, Tootsie, my Kenyan Samboa. So now we're going to do Penelope, my Western hognose. Now this is the same size enclosure that she's currently in, which I think works fantastic for her, which also works for me because I made her background and I love her background. And it's not attached to the enclosure so I can remove it. So I'm hoping I can easily get it into this enclosure down here so she can keep her background. And I mentioned these in the other videos, but if you didn't see those, the reason we are sticking with the same size but going to a different enclosure is because these stack with enough room in between for overhead lighting. And it's been a mission of mine over the last couple of years to switch all of my animals to overhead heat because it's the most natural form of artificial heat. So I'm very excited to finally be able to do it with all three of my small snakes. So let's go ahead and get Penelope's enclosure set up so we can move her in. So here we have our Reptizoo enclosure. As you can see, the key for the lock just suction cups right to the enclosure so I don't lose it. And then I just open it right up. So nice locking mechanism, I love it there. So here's her background that I was really hoping to save and put into this enclosure. And I was very happy that only did it fit the door, but there's like little pieces that come down from the lid that hold the background into place. So it's super secure back there. I don't have to worry about her getting behind the background, which is just fantastic. Already so much better than her last enclosure. And for her substrate, we're using coconut core, sand, reptibar, just a mix of a whole bunch of different things. I love mixing substrates. I find it makes it a lot more natural. It gives it more surface area, more textures. I just love doing that. And then it was time to decorate and add her decor. So I'm adding in these rocks and I'm making sure to bury them right down to the bottom. That way they're touching the glass and she can't climb underneath them. Then we have her flower pot hide for her cool hide, which is super cute when she sits in it. Her cork hide for her warm hide, but also to bask on top of and climb on. I just really love it. Just make sure that light is on top. Now the sticks, I get to use however I want. I'm so excited. In her last enclosure, I had to use sticks to prop up the background. So I'm excited to just be able to place these sticks in here and figure out how to put them just so that they can be for fun. So she can climb on them, make the enclosure look natural. So I was just so excited about that. And then it was time to add her plants. And I was so sad about switching her enclosure just because these plants, I have been able to keep alive in her enclosure. Normally I can't keep plants alive in enclosures. So I was very sad to have to uproot them. So here's hoping they take to the new enclosure totally fine because I never have success with plants. So I love these. And then it was the best time of all. It was leaf litter time. So of course I had to give it a nice layer of leaf litter to give it that natural look. And then the finishing touch, the water dish. And then it was time to give it some light. And I just get so excited with overhead lighting because it really just brings the enclosure to life. So, oh, I love it. And here's Penelope, my Western hognose. One of my absolute favorite snake species to work with are hognoses. I love them to death. And so we're gonna go ahead and let her explore. And she took no time exploring, exploring the plants, her flower pot, finding her background and using it as a maze. So big thank you to Reptazoo because I love this enclosure and how it came out and it works great for her. So what do you guys think? Have you used Reptazoo before? What do you think about hognoses? Let me know in the comments. And as always, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you for the next video. Okay, bye.